You deserve this, bro. You're just dropping buildings on buildings on buildings, and we will break through. Hey, what's up, guys? It's JKK Tag and Terra back again with the 2.6 Hog Rider Cycle Deck. No matter the matchups, no matter the meta, no matter the changes that happen to Clash Royale, 2.6 Hog Rider will always be strong. If you guys want to play a deck that is beloved by pro players, definitely check this one out. Let's go jump straight some games and assert some dominance. I upload daily videos on the channel, so make sure to subscribe so you never miss out. And a huge thank you to everyone who's using Creative Code SirTag. Creative Code SirTag allows me to upload daily videos on the channel while I take full-time college courses, so I really appreciate all the support. Here we go, guys. Right out of the gate, we're gonna go for a hog rider and we're gonna see what's good. So if you have a Lecture Spirit and a Goblin Gang, you might not have Log Bait. I thought it was gonna be Log Bait because we saw a Goblin Gang, but we got so many hits with that hog rider. Oh my gosh. Giant Goblin Gang and Electro Spirit. So when I don't identify what my opponent's deck is, we got to play safe and secure right now because I don't know what's coming at me. It could be like a Goblin Giant with a Giant for all I know. I'm going to go in for a Ice Golem here, try to protect our Musketeer as long as possible, get a Cannon down, and then Skeletons up top. So I'm going to cycle back to another Musketeer. We will lose the first one, but the second will not be for a Veil. We can go in for an Ice Spirit and probably just defend with an Ice Golem afterward. So the Dark Prince doesn't lock onto my tower. We are vibing right now. I love seeing that. So in this type of matchup, it's evident that he will probably go in for a Goblin Gang. So I can get Big Brain. My brain can get so big that it will explode if this works out, guys. Are we ready for it? I'm going to log the Goblin Gang. Come on now. Don't make me look like a fool. Thank you, sir. I need everything in that basket, guys. My mama always told me. Don't put all your eggs in one basket, but we don't listen, guys. We're a rebel here. At 24 years old, we have now disobeyed our parents. Ooh, that is uh, a sight to be seen. So we're going to go for skeletons in the back, and then Ice Spirit on top of the tower again, just to chip away. Or, 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 if I'm smarter, I think that that's not the play. We want a Musketeer first, so then we can cycle back to another one. He'll probably poison, and if I Ice Spirit, we don't have Ice Spirit to stun the princes anymore. So I have to be big brain. Yes, it's only one elixir, but that one elixir could lose me the game. So I'm not going to do it. Oh, he missed, baby. That's what we like to see. Oh, you know what? I feel I feel a little bit bad inside, like saying that oh, I'm so happy that he missed. But at the same time, I can't hide my excitement, guys. I am ecstatic that this guy messed up there. So he's got prince inside. No, he doesn't. <laughs> Is he going to happen again? There's no way. There's, I was going to say, there's no way that he lets that happen consistently right now. So, I'm just going to go in for a cannon and then an ice spirit. I think that if we're able to go and kite everything to the opposite lane, we're able to work away with a magical defense. And then I'm going to skeletons here. I'm going to cycle a couple iterations of these musketeers. I'm going to log. And then I'm going to ice spirit afterwards. So, if we're able to ice spirit, we're able to shut down all that spam. And that was brilliant, baby. Oh, my gosh. If you guys are seeing this defense with musketeer... You can make magical interactions happen that should never be possible. Just by cycling three musketeers on the map right now, not even going to have the deck of three musketeers. Who needs a three musketeer deck when you've got 2.6 elixir hog cycle? That is beautiful, guys. And that's why I love the deck so much. If you're good at the game, and I'm not even like the best player with this deck by any stretch of the imagination, but if you're good with it, you'll be able to make positive interactions out of thin air and defend any push. All right, guys. So first things first, I'm going to go for skeletons on top of the princess and see what we have in store. If we're able to eliminate the princess at the river and get a juicy plus two elixir trade, that's a good vibe. Also, oh no, no. I thought it was going to be like the OG log bait deck with the goblin gang. That would have been so much more damage for us. Oh, wait, he's going to BM me and say thanks. Does he go for a hog rider here? What are you going to do? I'm going to expect you to spam me with everything that you have. Yeah, yeah, that's exactly what we thought. I knew that you were going to spam me. When you say thanks and you're that confident, we got to, you know, stir up some absolute egos in here. If you're going to be a confident stupendous sir, we're going to make sure that you are going to be eating your words after this. You BM me a little bit, and I think I can go in for a hog rider and a log. So if we go hog log, wait, you could still have Tesla or Bomb Tower or Inferno Tower. I don't want to do that just right now. I want to go in for... A hog rider, and I want to push my musketeer. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to go and push the musketeer to new heights of dominance. It's going to go past any defensive building and make this guy very upset. 
Look at the Musketeer giving us damage. Logging the Skeleton Army. This is a good vibe. So, we know that he might Princess, so I want to go for a cannon a little bit early. So then if he Princesses, it's going to lock onto that instead. Yep, we're making pro plays out here. We know exactly what you're going to do, dude. And then I can Ice Spirit. If you want to go in for a log, it's not going to be enough. We can still get an Ice Golem down in time to stop the Princess. That is what I'm talking about. For seeing the future, making sure that we have necessary accommodations is what we got to do to win these matchups. Musketeer to snipe the Princess, and then you might go for a Skeleton Army or something. I'm going to pre-log. No! No, I should have waited! I'm a potato! Okay, guys, I was giving you an elaborate thing about, yes, we foresee the future and make according plays after that, but that was, that was a bad prediction. For once, we make a horrible, horrible interaction. But at the same time, we don't get punished extremely for that. We lose like 500 HP, but could have been worse. Oh, he's giving us the thanks, too. He's giving us the thanks. You know what, dude? You know what, dude? We got to wreck you now. There's no other options. When you BM me like that, we got to assert the dominance. So I'm going to Musketeer on that, and then I can go Hog right on the opposite side. You're going to go in for a uh, Skeleton Army now, but I'm not going to log it. I, I just don't have the balls to do it, guys. Our Hog Rider almost broke through, too, so that was good. He was expecting us to log, so good stuff. We get Ice Spirit, and then we can go in for a... Oh, my God! How'd that lock go to my tower? Thank you. Thank you for delivering the extra present. I am so lucky that this man decided, you know what? You know what the right play is to do? I'm going to go in for a Dark Goblin and give him even more value than he had before. So we're in a Hog Rider. We're going to go in for a Musketeer. And we'll see what else we can make happen. He's going to Skeleton Army for sure. So I need to log that. We do end up hitting the Skeleton Army this time, which is a great vibe. I can Ice Spirit afterward. And the Hog Rider and the Musketeer might lock on the tower. Give me the win against the Dirty BMer. Come on now. You guys know you want to see it. You know you want to see it. He's going to go for a Musketeer a counter soon. No, he doesn't. He doesn't do anything. Ah, there's the Princess. That's what we like to see. So now we can Musketeer here, we can go for our Hog Rider, and he'll go for Inferno Tower for sure, so let's Ice Spirit on it. I don't think he's going to Skeleton Army immediately, so we'll see if he does it afterward, but if he does, then we can start to Fireball Cycle him. Oh, it's going to be a painful process for this homie. It's going to be a painful, painful process, or what I can do is I can just, like, you know, Musketeer and then Cannon. So the Cannon here will pull all the Skeletons up close, and then he won't be able to lock on what he wants. We can Hog Rider again, and we can Ice Spirit, and I just want one more Fireball. I just want one more Fireball. Just give me to come. Well, come on now. I want a Fireball on top of the Inferno Tower and what we need. You're not giving it to me, though, bro. Why are you such a mean person? You BM me, and then you don't give me the value? How could you be this type of way? Anyway, well, Musketeer, and then I'm going to Hog Rider, and we should be able to walk away with a W after this. So, yeah, Musketeer is going to give us the sauce. I can Fireball on top of everything here. I'm going to hit the Musketeer. Let's go, let's go, Musketeer. Oh my goodness. Well, he didn't princess. I thought the musketeer would just be able to kill the princess. I was so concentrated in the left-hand lane that I didn't even notice my hog rider coming through. <laughs> it doesn't matter, guys. We beat the dirty BMer, and that makes me feel pretty good. We're going to go and sauce out a hog rider, and we're going to see what's happening. If we can get some chip damage with the hog, it always gets me in a good mood. But unfortunately, unfortunately, this man is going to preclude all of the fun potential up in this juncture, and he's going to go in for a saucy fisherman. So you're going to have Battle Healer and Fishman. I don't know what this is anymore. I'm used to seeing people run real decks. And this is a real deck that I have never seen in even my imagination. I've never even thought of a deck that has Fisherman and Battle Healer. But I guess you could have like an Elixir Golem deck with this maybe. I, I don't know anymore. I don't know what we're playing against. I'm going to log. Oh, no. We're not even able to keep the Musketeer alive. So I'm hoping that he goes in for a spicy Elixir Golem at the river or something. Play like a potato and let me win this game. Do not have Rail Giant with Battle Healer. Don't be that guy. Literally running Rail Giant with Battle Healer. Right when I ask him not to. What does he do? He's like, Jake, I got you, fam. You ask and you shall receive. Unfortunately, we, we are really getting screwed over by this one, Chief. All right. We're going to try to get skeletons down, but I not get them down in time because I am a big fat potato. But I still can Ice Golem and go kite this. No, I can't because he's got Fisherman. Fisherman's just going to go and pull it. Right when you hope that you can kite things, it's not possible anymore. So do I log? I think we log here. Yeah, I'm going to log. He's going to think that I'm going to go in for <laughs> my own log, but I can't afford a skeletons, bro. I can't cycle back to them in time. So you thought that we were big brain enough to get that down, but we weren't. Wait, why Why are you fishermaning at the river? Out of all the places that you could have done, you're like, yes, my best counter to hog rider. Let's drop that at the river and cheekily try to get that chip damage. So... I think that you have Royal Giant in cycle. I don't know what you're going to do. Please just don't whip out a Mega Knight. If you don't have Mega Knight, I'm happy. I'll be a very happy person. But if I Fireball on top of the Hunter, maybe we're able to get extra damage. You're also going to Fireball, but we don't kill the Hunter. 
If only Hunter just got a huge HP nerf, man. That would be phenomenal. For the Fireball and Ice Golem to kill it, I think that, that would be a buff to Hog Rider and a nerf to the Hunter that just destroys every win condition in the game right now. Also, he just Fireballed, so... Are you going to go in for a Fisherman? Yeah, you do. Let's go for a Hog Rider opposite lane. Try to meander our way with, through with a decent defense. If we get Skeletons down, I think that, that you're going to lock onto that instead, and then we can get an Ice Golem as well. If we protect the Musketeer, we will protect our pride and joy. You cycled two Battle Healers into the, the depths of despair. And that is exactly what we like. So, I'm going to go for another Musketeer because he's just going to keep dropping more Fishermen. I don't trust him, guys. I don't trust him one bit. He's going to Electro Wizard as well. If we keep the Musketeer alive, I can go off as a lane. We should be fine here if the Musketeer stays alive. And she's staying alive, staying alive. You'll love to see it. All right, I'm going to Cannon so we can go push the uh, uh, spam to the opposite. We want to make sure that he's not going to be able to lock on to what he needs. I'm going to go in for an Ice Golem so the Electro Wizard still doesn't give him the value. We're back in this game. And I, I know it looked bad for a second, but I am a believer. If we Ice Spirit, it's going to lock on to the Hunter. Do we get a hit? Come on now. Come on now. Let's go, baby. That's what I'm talking about. That makes me feel so good about myself when that works out. All right. So he's definitely going to fireball everything. So I need to go in for like a very high cannon. Ice Golem afterward. Ice Spirit here. Musketeer still alive. Let's go for more spam in the opposite lane. If the Musketeer goes with us, we're vibing. We are definitely vibing right now. All right, he's going to go in for a Hunter for sure. So I want to log it. If we're able to get a log up in this juncture, maybe the Musketeer stays alive. And then I can get back to another Hog Rider. That's the game plan for right now. If we can just outcycle him and get two Hog Riders on the map when he's not ready. And then the Fisherman pulls the wrong stuff, we're vibing. No! No! You've got Electro Wizard, you madman. Why you got to be like this? Why you got to ruin my game? We had the plays. We had the strats. We were ready to persevere, but it wasn't happening, apparently. So I'm going to have to log. I'm going to need to go in for Ice Spirit. I need to get another cannon down. That Royal Giant is not allowed to touch my sacred shrine that we call our tower. Oh, wait. He just fireballed. I think... I don't think he can do that. I'm pretty sure that you're not allowed to do that. If I log and I break through here, we're able to win the game, right? So I'm going to kill the Hunter. I can definitely go in for another Musketeer. Cycle a couple Hog Riders up in this juncture. Give me another Hog Rider. If we get another Hog Rider before he's back to Fireball, we're able to win. Please just let me break through with this Hog Rider. Don't let him Fireball me. Don't let him Fireball me. I'm going to log. The Hog Rider might be able to get a hit. No! <laughs> that was so absurdly close, but I wasn't able to make it happen. We'll bounce on the next one, and hopefully we can win there. It was a lot of fun. But every single game that you lose, you play better and you understand, hey, maybe I shouldn't have dropped my cannons near my musketeers as often as I did. I won't do that in the next one and I'll be sure to win. And the guy that we just lost to was a phenomenal player. Tons of top trophy finishes. No shame in losing to someone that has a good matchup that is an extremely good player. So let's bounce on to the next one and get some redemption. Here we go, guys. So right out of the gate, we're going to sauce out of good luck. And we're going to bounce through with our Hog Rider because he is ready. He is raring to go and wrecking the tower. Please, come on now. Is this going to be 2.6 versus 2.6? I had my hopes up for a second. And then he unveils the snowball, crushing my dreams and making it not possible anymore. But if you drop something here, I can log and I can get some cheeky chip damage. Oh, oh, 10% battery and elixir collector. Why did it have to hit me twice, guys? Unfortunately, we barely have any battery left on our computer. And then on top of that, we have literally no way of killing that collector. So this is bad news bears to the umpteenth degree. However, I'm still a believer here. Are you kidding me right now? You're really going to be running Tesla Elixir Collector? What am I supposed to do? I guess I go opposite lane and try to find some cheeky chip. But what are you going to do now? You're going to have like Musketeer. I can't fireball everything at once. If only the fireball could, you know, just reach across and just burn everything down. But it's just not happening. Anyway, I'm going to Musketeer on his musky, and he's going to have an Expo deck for sure. Like, 110% Expo. But, at this point, I can Fireball on top of the tower that we want, and I can log here if I want to just eliminate the Collector fully. But, not going to do that. I'm not going to play like a potato. I'll take the chip damage that I deserve, and we'll see what else happens after that. So, I can Ice Golem here, and then I can go for a Hog Rider, because you're spending your Elixir. Maybe you're going to go in for a Tesla. We'll have to wait and see. He misses the Tesla, baby! That is what we like. Oh, man. I feel like a bad person being happy about this. But when you play Expo Tesla, you deserve this, bro. You're just dropping buildings on buildings on buildings, and we will break through. A few moments later. So, actually, this guy's giving me the most fireball value I've ever seen in my life. 
That was beautiful, guys. And he probably hated every single second of that. He's like, you're not going to get back to Fireball. You Fireball the Collector and my Tesla. He can't get back to that again. And, dude, what are you doing? I'm going to Hog Rider in the office lane just because I don't want that to lock onto my tower. And then I'm going to go in for an Ice Golem so your Musketeer locks onto that. And we got all the Fireball value in the world. I'm just going to keep Fireballing the tower because that's how I'm going to chip him out. And that's how I'm going to win the game. We're going to log and we are going to clean it up and only need a couple more Fireballs. And we walk away with a W, dude. You are relentless with, with the Expo spam, but it is not going to work out. I hate to break it to you right now, but this is how the game works. We break it down. We wreck people that run Expo. And Expo's got nerfed really hard, so it's just not a good card in anymore. I can log. I can Ice Spirit. I can guarantee that you don't get any cheeky chip damage with that Musketeer. And, well, you're, you're still trying. I got to give you credit where credit is due. You do not give up. You never give up. You never surrender. But it's, it's time, dude. It's time to throw in the towel and go on to the next game. GG, well played, and peace out. It was a pleasure playing against you, and it is always fun wrecking Expo. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.